Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are doing something a little different. Today we're gonna be reviewing the Card Guardian 9 Pocket Binder. Uh, this is a little different than our normal openings, but thought we would look at um, kind of card protection as our next kind of topic. Um, you know, it's really important as we continue to collect and to grow our collections that you protect your cards well. So a couple of those options are the top loader here. So it's a hard plastic case. Um, looks good. Good for storing cards um, and as well as just protecting cards and uh, makes it looks a little bit a little bit better off to the side so you can see the rows of cards back there they have a little bit better of a look to them than if you just have the penny sleeves like this sylvian gx here uh, that's just a penny sleeve you can find packs of like a hundred of these for you know a couple of dollars five dollars or something um pretty cheap pretty inexpensive but you can still bend the card still scratch the card up a little bit I do like the more rigid cases that Pokemon's been doing with their Elite Trainer boxes, and uh, you can always buy those as packs, unofficial for any really trading card game, or there's always the official ones that the uh, companies will put out as well. Um, but I thought we'd also look at, obviously, you can't take the rigid hard plastic case everywhere. They barely fit inside the Elite Trainer box. Um, some of the older ones, they don't even fit in it at all. I've noticed uh, just the newer sets kind of fit those cards at any rate um but otherwise you have to kind of turn them sideways and stuff and it's just a mess but transportation of your cards is also important so if you want to go hopefully someday soon we can go to some events some whether you're playing or just going to trade or uh, see whatever else is going on um binders are a good thing to do a lot of people carry around like a trade binder as well as a, like non-trade binder so that's something that we'll look into as well, but let's get into the binder itself. So right out of the plastic, there's a Card Guardian kind of symbol. It's got a nice elastic band to it. Um, you can see it does, you know, it's a little bit bendy, so you could stick it in a backpack, um, but you know, maybe the protection's not as well as you'd like if you're gonna be, you know, heavy on the binder, but I think it's good enough that if you're mindful and careful of it, you'll probably be okay. Just got some paper in here, probably just to protect the plastic or something. There's only three pieces, one on the back, one on the front, and one right in the middle of the binder. So let's let's open this guy up, see how it looks. So this will hold 360 cards, nine cards per page. It says it can hold standard card size um, as well as sleeve binders. Oh, you can see me in the reflection there. But it looks pretty good, easy to flip through. Not too crazy. I do kind of like that it has the split in the middle. Let's see if we can find it again. You know, it's a big split in the middle, so you can tell the difference between one set of the binder or the other. So someone like me that collects both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, it'd be kind of nice if we could do the front half Pokemon, back half Yu-Gi-Oh, or something like that as well. Or you could just, helps you uh, collect by um, type of Pokemon or whatever else you're gonna do. Um, but yeah. So obviously you can't fit a top loader in these. That's a little bit too big, but we'll give it a try with other cards. So let's go with just a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card. No sleeve in that. Obviously this is gonna, Yu-Gi-Oh is a little bit smaller than Pokemon card size. You can see the difference here. You know, even just a sleeved Yu-Gi-Oh, so this is the Dark Radicator Warlock, is about the same size as a full Pokemon card without the sleeve. So, you know, added a little bit of extra girth there. So we got the uh, Ash Greninja and the Tyrantar both in Pokemon official sleeves. Those guys, let's see if we can find a slide. So those guys still fit really, really well, nice and snug. But I wouldn't be too worried about you know, bending them or anything like that. But it also bends, so it's easier to bend in between. They have a little bit of distance in between the plastic. So that if there is any bend or curvature to it, it's gonna come from there, so that's really nice. Here's the Sylvian GX that we showed earlier from the uh, penny sleeve. The penny sleeve is a little bit too tall, actually. Actually, it's just the right height. Just a little bit tricky to get in there. So penny sleeves might not be the best move unless you're willing to fold it. And then here's a Dark Radicator Warlock in the sleeve as well. Fits nice and perfect in there. So as you can see here, it's got a pretty good look to it. Uh, we've got the 
Infinitrack Mountain Smasher up top. That's just a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card, no sleeve. And then we got the Greninja Tyranitar in official sleeves. Sylveon GX in the penny sleeve. And Dark Eradicator Warlock there in just a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh size sleeve. Um, I don't think these are official Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves, but they're the cheap ones that uh, you can get and a lot of people have already. So I thought we'd test that one out as well. Um, overall, I think, you know, I do kind of like the design. I really like the design here, their logo, Card Guardian on the front. It looks really nice, uh, especially with the elastic band around the side. It looks really simple, easy to use, perfect size. You know, this would fit perfectly in a backpack. Um, anything else you're going to carry it in, but it's also really lightweight to your hand as well. So it's not like those uh, bulky, you know, three ring binder stuff that some people have. Um, you know, that's how I kept my cards when I was little as well. But um, if you're looking to upgrade the Card Guardian, here's a pretty good buy. It's also only $20, so pretty budget friendly. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. I'm sure you other stores sell them as well. Maybe your local hobby shop might have a couple of them or something. Um, Ulti Pro ones for the same size, um, and probably the same honestly quality they're usually about 25 to 30 so if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper this is probably your guy here um i know ulti pro has a pretty small little signature on most of their stuff uh so if you're more simple and don't really like the shield and helmet sign maybe that's a good reason to switch as well to the ulti pro i know those are more uh easily found in stores and stuff like that probably walmart and other places might carry those just on hand so um but yeah, for 20 bucks, this is a great binder. I would say it fits all the cards that I would need it to fit. 360 in sleeves. Um, like I was mentioning, the penny sleeve ones, it's a little tight, but obviously the penny sleeves are super cheap, so it might be better just to upgrade. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the review of the Card Guardian uh, 9 card binder, so the 360 cards uh, total, but 9 cards per page. Um, overall, I would give this probably about a four point. 4.5 out of 5. The only thing I'd like to see is a little bit, it's still pretty bendy, um, which any binder at this level, the $20 level, is going to be have a little bend to it if it's a soft cover. Um, you could get the one inch three ring binders. I think those are a little bit too bulky and they don't really have a good look to them, um, especially if you want to have all your cards all in one place. I would go with the Card Guardian here. Um, let me know what you guys think down below, whether you think my rating is good, or uh, if you have experience using the Ulti Pro ones and you see something that the card guardian is missing out, let me know down below. But um, like I said, you can find these on Amazon for about $20, so keep that in mind if you're looking to protect your cards. Thanks guys, see you next time.